In these days, you know, people are planning to go to Mars and we are still riding horses. That's unbelievable. That's the difference between nations, you see? USA is planning to go into Mars and gypsies from Romania ride horses. At the start of 2014, Romanians were told they can work anywhere in the European Union. I love your insurance number, I love your benefit, I love your money, England. And new Brits went crazy, like we are the Taliban or something. The massive influx from Romania is causing huge social problems. They should not have automatic access to British jobs. In a sense, we are taking jobs from people, you know? But shit jobs. There are maybe 100,000 Romanians working in the UK. And I'm going to tell you the stories of some of the assholes like me who came to steal your job. My name is Alex, and I'm proud to be a Romanian gypsy. This is my gypsy son. Yes. My wife, too, is gypsy. Even the little dog is gypsy. It's maybe time to change your mentality, to come and meet us, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. You see what a great a panoramic view I have. Straight dogs, plastic bags, mud. <laughs> and here on this fence, it's where they drop all the chemicals. Everything that's bad, that sucks, that's poisonous, they calm it and store it on the ground. The first year I get the stomach disease from this kind of shit. And now I'm immune. I can go on the moon, I can breathe on Mars. It's, it's no problem for me. <coughs> you see the garbage dump? You can see it from here. That big pile of trash. This is my house, this is my wife, my little child, Fabian. <laughs> <laughs> here is the kitchen, a beautiful kitchen. From here to here, living room, and here is the bedroom. Yeah, it's okay, no? I wash my teeth here when I want to start. We don't have water in this room. So when I brush my teeth in the night, I do like brushing, and after I take water here, mm. Very good water. <laughs> but you should see the other people, how they live. This small room, 15 people. My situation is good here. It's OK. I have a small car. I have this shitty home. <laughs> it's OK. I hear that some of your Brits are saying that thousands of poor Romanians are going to come to your country and steal everything. And I guess it's your problem what to think. But don't let politicians put the wool over your eyes so they can get some extra votes. In the last five years, in the metropolitan police area alone, there have been 28,000 Romanian arrests. And it is not racist or wrong or discriminatory or frankly, in my view, anything other than common sense to say that we should control our borders and not allow free access to Romanian criminal gangs to come into our country. It makes me sick that so many Romanians were arrested in London. But the story is not so simple. Fratimi, ascultați ce vă spun eu aici. Furați tot. Nimic să nu mai lăsați aici. Mr. Niger should have told you that of the 28,000 arrests, 
only 624 went to jail. This loser was full of big talk, but ended up collecting scrap metal in a baby's pram. After two months, he went home crying to his mom. I was thinking for this, because I'm my first demo. She. I come to the end of the castle. There are 20 million persons living in Romania. And you shouldn't misjudge us just because we have some bad apples in our box. If I wish to work uh, in UK, okay, I will work in UK. If I uh, wish to work in France, I will work in France. Why don't you come in Romania to work here? <laughs> Mihaela is going to England to work as a nurse. Because in the UK, she can earn maybe 10 times what she gets in Romania. This is my husband, Philip. Hello. <laughs> and my mother is in the kitchen. Here she is. <laughs> She's my mother. Zici tu, hello, zici tu ceva. Buna, zici tu ceva. <laughs> and my daughter, she's upstairs. Hello, hello. Come here. <laughs> she wants to show you. This her is room. my pink bedroom. Oh, wow. Uh, it's a very big uh, bed. I love big bed. I have a big bed, too. <laughs> it's bigger than her. <laughs> Georgiana wants to be a nurse just like her mom. And when she finishes studying, she will go and live with Mihaela in the UK. I finished my hair right now. Right now. This is DJ Chucho. I am very, very beautiful. Too much black. Too much black. Grange Sands. I'm going to Grange Sands <laughs> on the Cumbrian coast. With a local. Unde o să mă duc? Fiat încât de vin o să vezi Georgiana cât e de frumos. It's very beautiful. Ia fi atentă, Georgiana. Uite cum arată localitatea unde voi merge. Deci este o zonă de munte. Și parcuri frumoase are. Loves the place, my mother, because a lot of flowers. And my mother, a lot of flowers. Oh my God, flowers. Oh my God, flowers. You understand me now? I will work here. This is the place. Mmm, sunt un palat de princese. The castle of the princess castle. Carol Malgrange. Princess is the most damn. She was in the face of the show. Me the travel. You see, you see, all the bucuros. Will you come back? Of course, I will come back. Maybe. No, I will come back. I'm sure I will come back. Maybe. First, I'm going to go there and visit and visit. I think we'll be okay. It's a very beautiful place. Did you look at that? Da, când o dată cu mine, ca să mă ajunzi. When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we'll see no, I won't be afraid. No, I won't 
be afraid just as long as you stay stand by me stand by me bravo <laughs> tati just as long as you stay stand by me and Nu, let, let me eat. Oricum frumos, o să-mi fie sincer, foarte dor. Și când îți dai de visul din apă? Nu știu, crea contract oricum este pe un an de zile. Pe un an? Da. E determinat. Numai că așa se întâmplă. Asta e realitatea, ce să mai... Asta e. Așa o să fie. Mihaela thought she was going to a princess's palace on the top of a mountain full of flowers. But the agency have asked her to go to the city of Sheffield. There's good and bad in everyone, but the majority of them are, uh, I'm going to say, thieves. The break into people's houses, the rob things off of people's back gardens, They'll rob you in the street, the start fights, the dirty, nasty, horrible, disgusting people. I'm Trude. Oh, Trude. I'm from Pexton Grange. Oh, We're sharing a house with two girls from Spain. I've seen many white people in town swearing at them, saying, get, get out of our fucking country and all that. Because everyone's here now, isn't it? Just not English people. If you like the British, Land stream has been weakened. It's very hilly, Sheffield. Like Rome. Rome? Oh, it's not quite as nice as Rome, I don't think. <laughs> the thieving liars. They shouldn't be here. Don't send them back where they've come from. This is our house? Yes, this one. Oh, there she is. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Marta, I'm just Michaela. Here I have uh, internet. Oh. Have we internet yeah. here? With the uh... Wi-Fi? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I, I want to speak my my daughter. Oh, yeah. Uh, you want to go to that to see? It's not what you this is your bedroom? This is your bedroom. And this is? Your bedroom. My bed? With two beds? <laughs> wow. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh. Oh. The floor is... I will clean. For the summer nights. <laughs> That's Victoria Coach. Our house is over there. Well, <laughs> the so-called house. <laughs> Let's go. This is where the bus is stopped, and this is where we live, this parking lot. When Alex and his buddies Gabriel and Christian first came to London, they had no job and nowhere to stay. See the electricity box? There's seven sleeping bags in there. <laughs> Fucking lying to you. <laughs> After four months, the sun is starting to shine on Alex. He has his first full-time job, loading pallets in a warehouse. It's building materials that for different companies, 
and they ship the next day. So everything has to go on certain pallets, and that's what I do. I pick them and just sort them out. You can build a house with all the shit that you got in there. Like if every day, like I don't, I'm not talking about stealing from them, obviously, but if I take one thing from what they have in there, one, th one little thing, I can build a house. It's, it's a good environment. I, I love everything I do here. Now Alex has a regular job. He can save his money to rent a flat. But these days, he's living in a cardboard box with Gabriel. They want to stay close to Christian, who is in a hospital nearby, getting treatment for tuberculosis. It was a rough night. I gotta run inside the hospital because I gotta wash myself. So just go to the handicap toilet to take everything off. You have those big towels you can dry yourself with. That's the best you can do in the morning. In the afternoon, we go upstairs to Christian's room. Fucking hell. Okay, I do have to go wash myself. This is embarrassing, man. <laughs> After three weeks, the boys have a pretty good routine going. And it turns out that getting sick was the best thing that could happen to Christian. In hospital, he has free food and a bed. And now the British taxpayer is going to put him in a hostel. Yeah. Six months. You are homeless. Yes, I am in a pool that I am in a pool. Scrici acum pe bune, ai casă, nu mai ești homeless. Tu nu mai ești homeless de o lună de zile. Și ți-o spun pe față, stai așa că uite ăsta. E, el e homeless. Câinii ăia au o viață mai bună ca a mea. Eu mai rău ca un câine. Și sunt om în pula mea, nu sunt câine. Noi avem casă aici. O, asta nu-i casa mea în centru, în casă. Știu că asta e realitate, dar unde pui capul jos, noaptea, ca prin definiție, se cheamă casă. Ai... Nu-i păduri ei, nu-i casă. Vai, mi-ai rupt pula. When you're in our situation, the little bit you have, you call fucking home. I take my hat off to Alex, because I would have a heart attack if I have to sleep on the street while I look for work. I like it when it counts, it's like... It doesn't just say, fuck it, you have no more money. God damn it, this feels good. I gotta tell you, it's been a long while. Alex works with one Polish, one Romanian and two Jamaicans. Some of your people say that these immigrants are stealing jobs and making a mess of Great Britain. But if you guys really want to work in a warehouse, why let some bum who sleeps in a cardboard box get there first? I could earn many times what I get here in Romania if I worked in the UK. But I can't leave my shitty little job unless I have a guarantee of something better. It's, it's quite well paid, it's a good salary. It's not minimum, but not maximum. Uh, around 230 pounds, like that. Oh, per month, yeah. Not even the best surgeon earns more than three and a half grand in Romania. So it's obvious why so many of us dream of working in your country. Over 15,000 strong Romanian men have jobs in construction. You need the right papers to do building work. But anybody can get a job on a farm. And the English countryside is full of Romanian teachers and engineers who earn more picking raspberries than they could ever do back home. Don't put dark, don't put green, don't put smash. It's MS, okay? 
Go. Where would you be without the Romanians at the moment? We would probably be going in Romania. Either we would stop as an industry, or the industry would move to where the labour is available. The good thing is that you are so desperate to have idiots like me work in the UK that there are thousands of British jobs advertised in Romania. And I don't even need to leave home to get an interview. Aceste informații pe noi ne ajută să vă găsim un plasament. Ajunge într-o fermă unde plouă în Anglia, bate vântul, munca nor mai mare. Știți cum e vremea în Anglia? Anul trecut era vremea rece, nu creștea asparagusul și trei săptămâni nu a lucrat niciun muncitor, nimic. Ce, dacă stau cinci zile pe cameră, am înnebunit acolo. Bă, nu, stai, nu, bine, bă, este... nu, să poate întâmpla, nu ai nimic să știi. Și așa ceva trebuie luat întotdeauna în considerare, calculezi cât ai putea să câștigi. Dar calculează și că s-ar putea să nu lucrezi. If I go to a farm, I have to borrow 1000 euros to pay the agency and get the plane ticket. But if I'm lucky, I can get enough money to make a new life for my family. There are many risks that you cannot make money. There are many risks that you have a shitty job. There are many risks that you have a shitty place to, to stay. And you must pay rent. You must pay food. You must pay electricity. You must fucking hell. You must pay taxes. You must send money home. I, I have a shitty life. I don't need another one, a, a much shittier life. What the fuck? I, if, if I go there, I need uh, an improvement in my, in my life, something good to happen. This is the job that not, is not fitting for me, so fuck it. One day I will go to England, but I'm not so innocent to picture that going abroad will fix everything. Mihaela left her family in Romania to earn more money as a nurse for your old persons. Where I come from, nobody sends their moms and dads away to be looked after by strangers. But I guess it makes sense if you have so much money and so little time. I help them uh, uh, from the morning to uh, to dress, to clean. Some of them cannot eat alone. Okay, Roy? Yeah. <laughs> yes, of course. This is my job. This is my job. Some newspapers say that migrants who use your hospitals make them shit. But 25% of doctors in the UK come from other countries. Sit down now. As well as nearly a quarter of new nurses in the NHS. Okay, Michael. Let's go in your room. I thought in the beginning here will be hard, but it wasn't like this. It's harder for me in my day off. And uh, I remember all the time my family.
I don't want to think about my home, about my daughter, about my mother, about my husband, about my dog, about it. better at work. <laughs> Tomorrow will be another day, and then a, another day. We'll pass the week, a month, three months, <laughs> six months. Nobody ever said that England was made of gold. And even if you have a job, your head can be in the shit. Alex works in a warehouse. He dreams of getting a flat and living the good life in England. But for now, his home is a box in the middle of a field. Somehow I got attached to this hospital. There's nobody here anymore. The street's gone. <laughs> this is like half a city across. Gabe's gone. I still call this home. It's fucking random, but it's true. Alex has stayed in Shepherd's Bush to be close to his work. But his friends have moved to Houston, where Christian has a room in a hostel. Speak, my brother. My brother. Una settimana, una settimana di abito qua. Solo anche questa chiave, vedi? Dove abito io. Io fuori, io dentro. Non posso, non posso aiutare. Questa è la vita. Altra cosa, non posso fare niente. Questa è la verità. It's hard living with nothing. And Alex is so full of shame, he waits until dark to go back to his camp. It's all right, I guess. I don't know. I have a job, that's how it feels. <laughs> it's lonely, I feel lonely sometimes. But this will, it's just a phase, I guess. It will pass at one point. But for now, it does feel random. I don't care. Like I said, this is temporary and I will keep up this job. This will give me some stability. It's not my dream job, but... <laughs> this is my safe haven. See, I camouflaged it pretty well. I put this tree down too. I have a proper place there now. <laughs> I'll be laughing about this one day. For sure. I'll be laughing, but right now, I'm living this. So no one, no one at your work knows you're Nobody, and I will keep it like that as long as I can. <coughs> I'll probably tell them, like, in six, seven months from now, when I have a house, and I'll invite people over, and I'll be like, hey, you know, thanks to you guys, I have this house now. Before, I was sleeping somewhere else, in the bush. <laughs> Literally, I'm sleeping in the bush, in Shepherd's Bush. Ah. <sighs> I know how to not do this, but it's not the right way. I can steal a car, I can live in a stolen car, I can rob people on the street, I can... all kinds of stupid shit that... been there, done that. Sell dope, but I'm no more, no more. This is what I'm... I need to live properly. 
I'm 30 for fuck's sake, so I'm not 19 anymore. Yeah. And that's why I sleep, man. It's true that washing cars in England earns you two times what a doctor gets in Romania. But it can take years of hard work to make a life in the new country. I'm very proud of my work because I like it. See me, I'm doing a quick job, but good. Adi has worked six years in the very English town of Burton-on-Trent. He gets maybe 180 pounds a week washing cars, but sends most of his money home and is living under a bridge. This is my house. Over there I have my food. I have some rats here eating my food. My life is horrible for the moment because I live it in this place. Or I'm working very hard. And uh, what I'm supposed to do for, for the moment. This is my life. Adi can only afford to see his wife one time each year. He lives in the old mining town of Lupin. But nearly all the mines got shut down after the revolution, when the politicians screwed Romania to make themselves rich. Only a fool would say that things were better under the communists. But the problem with democracy is that you can't shoot the bastards who fuck this town. And Adi's mom gets only 35 pounds a month from the government to look after five children. This money she, she have now, my mom, he, he paid just to a little bit of water or, you know, some food for children, that's it. If Adrian wasn't working in England, what would happen to you? I'm murdered for farm in Casco Coffee. Adi doesn't want his family to cry for him, so he's never told them that he lives under a bridge with the rats. What do you imagine England's like for him? Destul de... Destul de bună, de... Nu știu. Pierdă mult, că e greu, dar mă refer așa ca țară. E destul de frumos și de bine, mă refer. Papă, nene. Față de ce este la noi. This is Romania. The people are looking for something like this, you know. Is this coal? Yeah, yeah. He sell it for 20 pounds for one week. I love England because it's so nice there. But my wife, she thinks I have a house. But I don't have a house there. But the, I, I still stay there, on the beach. Maybe later, later, one month, maybe two months, maybe I, I'm looking for a house because uh, it's no good still stay there. Adrian, 
dureros, că trebuie să plece, dar nu avem un trai aici, cu ce să trăim și trebuie să plece. Că nu plângi, că este greu și acasă, eu știu că este greu. Dar o să fie bine, într-o bună zi o să fie bine. Să ai grijă de tine. Bine? Ține să ne auzi. El are un secret, că casa aia lui unde locuiește el nu ne poesește nimic, doar că este urât unde locuiește el. Încăperea aia unde stă el este foarte urât, mămică. Nu vreau să povestim despre asta și evită să ne povestească. I don't know if Adi is brave or stupid, but I'm not Jesus Christ to suffer so much that I see my family one time each year. Mihaela has been two weeks in Sheffield. She hopes that when her daughter finishes school, she will come and live with her in England. I think it's very beautiful here when it's the sun and the wind doesn't blow in this way. Look, at me at home, I like everything. At me at home, I have a lot of activity. No, here are the days of death, that's the job. It's hard being without your family and friends, but it's harder to say I made a mistake. You like your home, mother? It's a very, it's a very nice place. Now look, look. If if you are not uh, talking. A few minutes, uh, I think uh, uh, you can hear the birds. Do you hear it? Yes. The people are nice. I think you'll like uh, to stay here with me. <laughs> have you have you cleaned your room? Ce faci, Babi? Mă uit la mine! Bravo! Te pup, te pup, băbușca! Mihaela, după șase luni să vii acasă, mă vreau! E mai frumos! Și să transmit inima mea în șapa! Deci mama își dorește foarte mult să mă întorc, știi? Fiecare zi mă cheamă acasă. Adică îmi face bine că îi văd pe Skype în fiecare zi, dar în același timp nu face bine, știi? Are you very well? Yeah. I I come to take your blood pressure. Do you know I am from Romania? Yes, you know. All right. These are your memories, right? Your memories. I love it. Yeah, very beautiful. Push your feet. Push, push, push. Okay, it's great. A big reason you need foreign nurses in your hospitals is that many British go abroad to earn more money. And people like Mihaela make a big sacrifice to look after your families. You just, you just want to rest, right? Okay. If you need something, you can call us. It's okay, Michael. Are you all right? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
Ah, nu știi niciodată unde te duce viața. Mm. Știi, chestia este că uh, uh, poți fi tu însuți în situația aia, știi? Asta e... Uh. Uh. Oh. Te gândești cum ar fi? Te gândești și la mama ta? Da. Sau Dar eu? și ea are aproape 80 de ani, știi? Asta este treaba. Și uh, mă gândesc tot timpul să nu pățească ceva, că sunt eu aici. Excuse me. I'm sure even Mr. Niger would like good nurses to come to the UK. But nobody wants to be a friend to people like Alex. I got camp for my work, man. Because it was my fucking one year anniversary for my divorce. And I bought a beer. And I got fucking canned for that. Nobody would understand what that means. But you know what? I don't give a shit. Today is the worst fucking day in my whole life. A year ago, I got divorced by my wife. And it's not really a happy anniversary, it's a bad anniversary. Yeah. And I decided to celebrate with a beer by myself. I just walked to fucking home bargain and I bought a beer. I come back and the supervisor saw me. He's like, you've been drinking beer? I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? Obviously, I've been drinking beer. Tablet. He's taking some tablets. I have quit on having a job in this country. I'm done. After today, fuck it. I'll make a lot of more money by this. I know what to do to make money. I'm not even going to ask you what you're going to be doing. Yeah. Alex tried to follow the straight line, but he has the devil in his heart. He was thrown out of Canada because he didn't pay tax and learn his English from the drug dealers. This is my disguise. Nobody questions me. Hey, crazy, Alex. My God, oh. Drogato di merda, oh. Oh. You're gonna go to a cash machine in a boiler suit, drunk. Allegedly. Allegedly. Trust me. This is in Cagliano. I'm back to my old self. Take care. No, 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 no. I plac să muncească și faci toți românii de căcat îi faci în țara asta. Eu am venit să muncesc aici, nu să-mi bat joc din nimic. Dacă Alex îi creezi, ba pula în gura lui, ba fă-n culo. No, 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 my friend, Alex. Alex, get out. Shit. Merda. I read some shit in the British press that one in seven persons arrested in the UK are foreign. But I also see in the news that English have so many pedophiles. And it would be a shame to think that everyone in your country was a pervert. 120,000 Romanians live in the UK. And some will do anything to make a better life. I'm trying to bring my, my wife here. I'll stay with me together. Mihaela went home after one month 
and has told her daughter that England is no good. She wants to go uh, like nurse on a boat. On a boat? Yes. So not getting right now? No. The straw that broke the camel was that she got paid much less than the other nurses because the authorities had problem with her Romanian papers. Și mai îmi cer o hârtie ca să mângească mie termenul. Înțelegi? Pentru că spaniolaicele au primit viza asta de trei ori. Păi le-am trimis de trei ori, frate. Asta e. Și nu aveam nevoie de ele. Dar problema era da. că ei suntem români. Vă am altă. Dar ea nu spunea, e Filip, gata. <laughs> e să-ți auzi. De la lipsă. De la lipsă nu aveam cu cine să mă cer. Oh! <laughs> Wow, it's like Christmas! <laughs> Next week, young Romanians come for the new life. Booze Britain, Bange Nation. Oh, good, very good. Definitely you, you, you will not find this in Romania. And I take the big risk and look for work in Great Britain. This much I earn in two days with scrap metal. <laughs> So I will send home, I'm rich, I will go home now. <laughs> Why dream of a new life in Britain? Take a trip to Romania to see more powerful stories of the lives some migrants leave behind in our exclusive videos at channel4.com slash Romanians. Next on 4, it's locally known as The Jungle. Immigration Street is here in just a moment.